Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. I'm Scuba Daddy and today we are going to be explaining how to actually install mods through Vortex for any game. I'm going to show you a general way on how to install mods and I'm going to do it specifically today for Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl because I know this game is relevant right now and a lot of people want to go ahead and install some mods for the game. So if you don't know how to do that, just watch this video, stay stay for the entire video because I'm going to show you some tips on how to install a lot of mods at once and what to look out for when you're installing anything like mods, different mods on their own on what to look out for when you're installing a collection. So before we get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the because it does really help me out a lot. And make sure to comment down below if you have any, any, any questions. I answer to them almost instantly. And yeah. Let's get into the video. Let's go. So the first thing you want to do, uh, because finding a game in Nexus mods, because this is what we're going to use is Nexus mods. Finding a game through Nexus mods is kind of hard if it's not very popular at the time. So what you want to do is go to your browser. Mine is Opera GX, which is awesome, by the way. Make sure you try it out and type in Nexus mods Stalker 2. Specifically for Stalker. And you find the first page. It's Nexus Mod Stalker 2. Make sure you don't press any other websites because I don't know how legit they are. As you can see, we are in the mod section for Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl. A very cool thing about Stalker 2, uh, which is not shown in many other games other than Skyrim and Cyberpunk, is it has a lot of collections. So I'm going to show you today how to install a collection, which is not that hard to install, actually. And I think it's one of the best collections that I found that actually keeps the vanilla game and also improves it and improves optimization as well. So go ahead. If you do not see this right here with the uh, the blue button right here, which may not show for other games which have less collections, go ahead and click right here and go to all collections. As you can see, this is where we show all your collections. Now I am, you know, premium user for Nexus. If you're not a premium user, you're going to have to wait a little bit longer because the downloads are a little bit capped. But if you are a premium user, you're gonna download this very, very fast. So the mod list that I found that is the best like actually the one that actually optimizes the game pretty well is Better Stalker right here from Syracuse. So props to Syracuse for creating this mod list. I don't think the mods are entirely his or even if any of them are his, but this is his mod list. And make sure you guys go ahead when you download the mod packs to actually endorse these people because they, they take a lot of time to actually create these mods. Some mods require like years to create and they really help you out when you want to actually install some mods and improve your game before we start downloading, you got to have to explore the description of the mod list. And what this means is some mods may require additional things to do. As you can see here, it has the main features on the description and it also has this thing right here. Additionally, I recommend installing the optional mod as it improves game optimization. Check its description as it requires replacing files. As you can see, there is an optimizing mod that is optional if you have issues and you want to optimize your game and it at higher fps that you need to actually do some additional things and replace some files in the directory of the game so how do we install this and how do we install this mod list what you have to do is download vortex as you can see right here i have vortex i already have some mods for ghost recon breakpoint that you saw me play in the previous video so go ahead and open the vortex log into your premium or normal account of nexus mods and go ahead and go to games when you go to games Make sure you type in the game you actually want. If you want Cyberpunk, you'll find Cyberpunk. If you want Skyrim, you can just type Skyrim or go ahead and type, in my case, a Stalker, which I'm going to type hard because I have to actually type the dots right here, which I don't want to do. So what you do right here is press Manage. The purpose of games right through an extension. To use, you have to download the extension and restart. Vortex, as you can see, this requires an extension. So let's go ahead and press Download. Vortex will start downloading and auto restart itself right now as you can see stalker 2 heart of Chernobyl hasn't been automatically discovered because i have it installed in a different path than vortex so what you gotta do is continue and find the stalker 2 location as you can see it already found it for me so i don't know why it asked me to do that but uh this is the main folder right here is in profiles 86 stamps the maps common and stalker 
to Heart of Chernobyl. Select folder and it's from Steam. I have it from Steam. So press select. Now it's installing the mod mergers as you can see on the top right. So this is actually kind of important and you will actually have to run it when you actually try and uh, when, when you actually install mods, you will have to run it so it merges the mods together. So acknowledge that. I didn't press never show it again because I might need to actually read this again. As you can see, we have the simple mod merger for Vortex, which is for the Stalker 2. Now what you got to do is go ahead back into the Nexus mod website and go ahead and click Add Collection and download right here. Continue requires Vortex. As you can see, I already have Vortex, so I don't need to download Vortex again. And press Open Vortex if it props up anything that you need to actually prop up. So I'm going to actually make sure you guys create a new profile. Press create new profile right here and install now. Currently so to profile better stalker. Do you want to switch this profile? Yes, we want to switch to that profile and it's going to start downloading everything. So it's showing some um, external stuff. Maybe we have to download them manually from what I'm guessing. So uh, continue, let it open a page because it might need to actually download like that and download the alternate radio. It, you don't have to do this for every mod. It's just one mod. And after it downloads, it will automatically be added into your mod list. As you can see in the download section, it's starting to download all these mods. It's going to be pretty fast because I have a really good internet. And um, as you can see, it already downloaded a lot of the mods. As you can see, some mods require you to actually select different options. As you can see here, there's color coded and there's descriptive. There's a like two main differences between these six files right here. So what you gotta do for, because I need a descriptive, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the descriptive part and install selected. Some mods will require you to actually install it. Just one blood on every single shot. Oh, this is the blood, the, the blood splatter. Okay. So um, the default is the default of the mod. And with every hit, there's gonna be blood splattering around the place. So let's go ahead and actually get on every hit because when you get hit with a weapon, you also spill blood everywhere. So this is more realistic. As you can see, collection installation complete. And there's also two optional mods available. I want to install those optional mods because I want to show you how they work. So view optional mods is what you got to do. We're going to go ahead and actually search for these mods so we can see uh, what they actually mean by having to actually um, do something in the game directory. So this is the optional mode right here. Let's go ahead and read more. As you could see, it was in a different um, section. If you go on the bottom, there's optional modes and offsite assets. This is an offsite asset that you can actually use that I downloaded from the mega files, as you could also see when I was downloading the, the mods. Let's go ahead and find what this means and what we have to actually do. Reduces stuttering, improves performance, improves loading times, makes unrelenting effects less artifacty, reduces ghosting, improves image clarity, improves the quality of all upscaling and anti-aliasing methods. All right, this is actually pretty good, pretty good. So what we got to do is go all the way down to installation of the mod. What you have to do is says here, download the mod and unzip it, then select the preset you actually want. There are a couple of presets in this mod. What you got to do is download this manually. So go to files right here and choose the manual download for optimization essentials, the number one, the main files, the old files are the old files. So go ahead and download this as a manual download. It will start the manual download or it would ask you to wait for like a few seconds because you don't have premium. And once this happened, just go ahead and click on the preset folder and choose which one you want to actually improve. So what I would actually choose because I do not have the best PC is go for the balance right here. This is the best for me to choose. Now, if you have a potato or you're using AMD. Yes, that was a joke, guys. Uh, go ahead and click on ultra performance on low spec potato AMD gaming. Uh, if you have Nvidia and Intel, go ahead and click balance or anything above. This is a joke. Please do not listen to me. I'm stupid. And after you do that, go ahead and click on this thing. Go ahead and select all of them right here. So go ahead and search here for local up data. Let's go. We found the local up data. Now, once we did that, all right, we're in the local up data and we got to find stalker to saved config windows. All right, the wrong page. Press S so you can see stalker two. There you go. Saved config windows. This is the any folder. So make sure you go ahead and open your other one in the half screen right here. As you can see, I can put it on the half screen and choose this as well. Why do I have this on? Well, whatever. 
Okay, just click this and drag and drop inside and replace the files. If it doesn't proc you to replace any files, there's probably something wrong with your game because it should have at least two. So after you've done that, close both the folders. You don't need to actually have them on. Go into your thing right here. As you can see, there's this box on the top left of your vortex. Go ahead and click that. And after you've done that, just wait a little bit, let it run its thing. It will take some time to actually merge all the mods. As you can see, it's starting to merge everything all together. There's 298,278 probably kilobytes. It's probably the megabytes of the whole mod pack. So after we run the mod, I've got some errors actually during the uh, actual installation of the entire mod list. I don't know if this is a mod list that's the reason that it's doing this thing. But um, let's actually try out the game and see if it will actually work or not. So what you got to do is just click on this little button right here, which will launch the game with Vortex Mods enabled. Now, if you do crash when you actually launch, it means there's an issue with your mods. So if there is an issue with these mods, we will actually crash and the errors that were popping up were actually true. Now, if the game crashes a lot while inside the game, there's two other things that might you might want to look out for. One is there's an issue with your mod list that you've downloaded or the most you've downloaded and the load order or you didn't run the merger or there's an issue with some of the most conflicting each other or there is an issue with your device and you cannot run the entire mod list because it's a potato PC. So let's go ahead and press continue and see if we're inside the game without any problems. All right, so the game is launched and i am literally inside hell right now um okay there's a guy out here shooting something oh they're, they're under yeah i remember the last time i played i was trying to go through this military base and i was hearing them right here so as you can see mods are downloaded they work fine they actually do launch with the game you might not see them right now but you will see them in the future because some mods actually work differently so right now I'm getting about, I don't know, 60 to 70 FPS where I was getting before like 50 to 45 uh, with the fully quality optimization. So this has actually did me a favor, the optimization settings, and now I have better FPS. Wow, this is actually great. Um, and with high graphics as well. This is actually higher than I had it before. So yeah, the actual in engine and any files actually do work. So make sure you actually download this, guys. As you can see, this actually works pretty well. And the FPS are actually pretty, pretty stable. So um, yeah, this was the whole video, guys. I'm going to actually close the game because this guy is just going crazy under and I'm not going to be able to talk over this guy shooting all the time. So yeah, guys, that was pretty much it. The, the whole process gets very, very easy. At some point, if you don't actually know at the start, you will take some time actually doing some different kind of pathing and how to figure out the mods or if you're actually doing them one by one without the mod list. Some mods will have conflicts. You got to watch out for those. If they do, the Vortex is going to try and actually suggest them where you should put them in the load order. But please make sure you run the merger so it actually merges them correctly for Stalker at least. Other games do not require this thing. Other games just install them um, instantly on their own from Vortex. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. I will be answering to all of your questions as best of my ability. Thank you for watching the video. I hope this actually helped you and you it will actually be useful for you in the future. If it, if it is, make sure you like, subscribe and turn notification because it does really help me out a lot. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.